Hello my friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the brand new OnePlus Nord 2T against the 2022 iPhone SE. Right now we are shooting at 1080p at 30 frames per second because this is the maximum resolution these phones can shoot. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has better audio and which one has better colors. Let's start with some samples from their main cameras, but first let me address that every picture is taken in auto mode without adjusting any of the settings, since most of the users take pictures like this. After taking and reviewing a lot of pictures side by side, here's what I found out. In daylight both of these devices take great images with their main cameras, there are however some differences. The pictures taken with the iPhone SE are slightly more vibrant compared to the ones taken with the Nord 2T. I did also notice that the dynamic range is better on the iPhone. As you can see here on the edges some highlights are lost on the OnePlus, while they are better preserved on the iPhone. In some cases like here, the iPhone SE suffered from sun glare, while the Nord 2T wasn't affected at all. Shadow details however are better handled on the iPhone SE. Overall in daylight with their main cameras I did prefer the iPhone SE because of its more vibrant pictures while the Nord 2T pictures sometimes are flat. They weren't bad, but not quite at the level of the iPhone SE. The OnePlus Nord 2T however has also an ultra-wide camera, which is missing on the iPhone SE. The quality of this camera isn't one of the best even among mid-rangers, but it is useful sometimes. As you can see, you can fit a lot more with the ultra-wide camera of the OnePlus, but it isn't that sharp, and the colors aren't as good as the iPhone. In some cases however with good lighting the Nord 2T was able to hold its own against the SE, even with its ultra-wide camera. The sky has still better colors on the iPhone SE, but the OnePlus Nord 2T isn't far behind. For me not having an ultra-wide camera on 2022 is not acceptable, and it makes me really praise OnePlus for including this camera. Sure it isn't an amazing one, but it is still good to have. When it comes to portrait shots, Apple has always been ahead from other companies, and this is especially noticeable with mid-range devices. In this case, the colors of the iPhone SE just pop, while they are very flat on the Nord 2T. The same results are in this other case too. The details of her face are much more preserved on the iPhone. When it comes to edge detection, however, I would give the win to the Nord. With their front-facing cameras, the results weren't always the same. In this scenario, for example, our faces look better on the Nord because the iPhone isn't doing that good. In this other sample, however, the iPhone is now much sharper and the colors are much more accurate compared to the Nord. But once again, when the sky was in the background, the iPhone did suffer quite a bit. The SE uses an older sensor, so of course it can't be as good as the flagship iPhones. When it comes to video recording, just as expected, the iPhone SE is sharper and the dynamic range is amazing. iPhones have always been better with video recording, and the SE is no different. The Nord, however, can also shoot videos with its ultra-wide camera, which is nice, but the quality of the video isn't nowhere near compared to the iPhone. Moving to low light, and here the results aren't really that good since they don't support night mode. The Nord 2T is suffering from the light on the left, while the iPhone is very noisy. The OnePlus however seems to be doing a better job in this next case, since my face is in focus and sharp, while I look like a potato on the iPhone. In this other case, just like before, the Nord is suffering from lights a lot, and while the iPhone is better on handling them, it still has a lot of noise. When we switch to the main cameras, the Nord 2T picture is taken with night mode enabled since it does support it, while the iPhone doesn't support night mode even with its rear camera. Surprisingly, they look very similar, and the iPhone was able to keep up in this scene. When it got darker, however, the difference is bigger, and now the Nord 2T is brighter and better. Both devices, however, are suffering from light reflections. The biggest difference yet is in this scenario. The OnePlus Nord 2T is a lot brighter, and everything is better exposed compared to the iPhone SE which is dark and almost unusable. 
I did notice that when there were some light sources present, the iPhone wasn't actually that bad. When the lights weren't as much present on the scene, however, it falls behind compared to the OnePlus. The ultra-wide camera of the Nord, however, is very bad even with night mode. It is darker and it has a lot of noise. It is nice to have it. But when you buy a mid-range device like the Nord 2T, don't expect to have a great ultra-wide camera in low light. So guys, what do you think? Let me know your winner in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.